She was found roaming around a temple. She was completely emaciated, no hair. It was very clear if she wasn't taken or rescued, she wouldn't last much longer on the streets. Hi, baby. Come on, darling. Come on, sweetheart. Hello. Hi, baby. Hi, darling. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got the dog. They were able to catch her in a net. She was in the vet for almost two weeks. See how beautiful she is. She's just so scared of people. She was just completely terrified. So they thought it would be so much better for her to heal and rest and recover in a foster home. I told them I can take her. They brought her to me in a crate, let her out, and then, you know, the woman left and and I couldn't find Putri. Eventually I found her hiding inside the bushes. She was living in the bushes for three weeks. It felt wrong. I felt like I was leaving this dog in my bushes. At first I would put food outside the bushes. I could see she was eating the food that I was throwing in. I would just sit there with the food in my hands and she eventually would pop her head out and eat the food from my hands. I couldn't look at her. If I turned my head to look at her, she was back in the bushes. It took her a really long time, but she was slowly learning to trust. We made progress every day. You're so pretty. Are so pretty? You want some more? And then I thought, this can't stay like this. She can't live in here forever. I was worried about when she saw my dogs because they're full of excitement and energy. Oh my God. I went out one morning and saw she was on the other side of the yard with the dogs with her little tail wagging. There was a point where it was almost every day there was a new milestone. Slowly she started coming in in the evenings we're watching TV and she's just looking around and then going back outside. Where are you going? First time she laid down on her side with her stomach exposed was like she really feels relaxed and vulnerable. Nice Gucci. But I think for her the biggest thing was when she started to be able to leave my house and go for walks. I think that's when she really changed. You can do it. Come on. Yes. Good job. I think she started to build confidence in herself. She started to see the world. We would come back from these little walks and she would just do these zoomies. My dog taught her how to be a dog. She would look to them and see, okay, what are they doing? Okay, it's safe for me to do this. Even naughty things. She has such a funny personality. Go home. Hi, hi, hi. Now, she's waiting at the door for me when I come home. Oh. oh my goodness. She loves being pet. I pet her belly, scratch her everywhere. I kiss her every night. Can you clean now? The amount of progress that she's made is really, really remarkable. She is a normal dog in a lot of ways, but she will take a special hi. family because it's on her terms. I think she would do best with other dogs, not with young children. Someone who has a really big heart for dogs who understands that she's a little bit different. I think the connection with her is extra special. If she trusts somebody and she loves somebody, the reward that you would get is so high. It almost means a little bit more. It's such a long journey she went through that being a part of it would just be an honor for someone. <laughs>